takes Paw Patrol to a whole new level as one pup helped seize millions of dollars in drugs last week. Quinn is a two-year-old golden lab that spends his time as a narcotic-sniffing dog for the Burien Police Department. The former Purina puppy chow model came in at the tail end of a year-long investigation into a massive drug cartel operation. Police estimate that they've seized $10 million in drugs from their operation, and Quinn sniffed out almost a third of it, including crystal meth, fentanyl, and black tar heroin. Six people were recently arrested in connection to the operation, and a King County judge found probable cause for drug possession with intent to deliver. Prosecutors are expected to press charges this week. Brian, you've got a Doberman at home with some unique training. How does a pooch go from model to officer? Yeah, so my dog is trained in what's called in Schitzen training, or it's German uh, protection training. But this is detection work, and this is amazing. I I've tried to teach my dog this, but it's very difficult. So dogs can, especially uh, golden labs like we're seeing here, are phenomenal at detecting substances. They're even able to detect when someone's about to have a stroke. But what they do is they take the specific substance, whether it be marijuana, heroin, fentanyl, and they take it in small amounts, and they hide it in different areas for the dog to then detect. Then a dog shows uh, a certain response. Either they sit, I think this dog jumped on the table or laid down. Whatever that signal is, it's up to the trainer to be able to identify that and then spot the drugs. This dog did an amazing job. This is not easy. I had to cross-examine canine officers about their training, and these dogs are heroes on all fronts. I thought you were going to say I had to cross-examine the dogs. <laughs> no, I got back was that'd Wolf. Be, yeah. That'd be Wolf. Yeah, he kept pleading the fifth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry, this is a dog. Definitely earned some doggy treats, right? What can you tell us about the use of canines in law enforcement? Well, you know, in all seriousness, these dogs are very important. They really have been using dogs for patrol since the Middle Ages, and there are two types that you get. You get those, like Brian was talking about, for detection, and most of those are labs, and you also get them for patrol, and a lot of those dogs are German Shepherds. So they have to be trained, and they have to make sure there's no hesitation when they have their training. And then they're selected to actually go on the job. They usually work about six to nine years and they take their jobs very seriously and of course they are rewarded for what they do but when they're out in the field and they're actually smelling things and sniffing things out it really helps law enforcement because if a officer is at a car and the dog is smelling the car and there's some drugs in there they have reasonable cause to go and investigate inside the car. And you know it's the same thing at the airport, so they're very helpful. Very helpful. And then they retire, they open up a PI agency. It's a whole <laughs> world of dogs that nobody knows about. Brian Terry, thanks so much. Everyone out there, thanks for joining us here on Law & Crime Daily. We'll see you next time as we discuss justice in America.